I didn't really know that I had OCD at first. I just thought that I was had this weird, quirky thing with throw up. I was terrified of it. I did everything I could do to prevent myself from throwing up or being around anybody that was throwing up. I washed my hands all the time. I, I thought I was just a big germaphobe, but I hated being a mother because I was so terrified. Unfortunately, whenever you have a kid, kids throw up and you can't avoid that. When my son was sick, I couldn't take care of him. And I love my son, but this is just the one thing I, I can't do for him. I've had OCD symptoms as long as I can remember. Since I was about three, that was the first time I remember feeling scared. My sister threw up. I was terrified. I was a problem child. Everybody, my parents' friends would say, you know, she's just doing it for attention. It's a phase, she'll get over it. You just, you can't pay any attention to it. But it got to the point to where we were fighting so badly that the fights would get physical. You know, I'd start throwing things and it was because I was so, so scared and I didn't know how to handle it. My mom still, I don't think really, accepts that I had OCD. But, um, I, I mean, it was, it was hard for them. Dylan, do you want an apple? Right after my son was born, my OCD became everybody else's problem. The OCD controlled our lives, you know. Uh, controlled his life, controlled my life. Everything we did was controlled by OCD. When my son would be sick, he's not allowed to touch anything, nothing. He, he can't touch anything in the house because he's contaminated. And even though he doesn't touch anything in the house, I do nothing but clean with like hospital grade cleaning stuff that I get on Amazon. The first time he threw up, I felt the same way I did when my sisters were sick. I felt like I need to run. I got in my car and I left and I was so, I was just terrified. All he wanted was me. He didn't want my husband. He wanted me. I'm his mommy. It got worse with my husband. We went to marriage counseling. He didn't understand why when my kid is sick, why is my wife leaving? I grew up with a mom that even if you're throwing up, like she'll sit there and play with your hair, rub your back. I want my son to have the same kind of mom, and I'm, I was not that person for him. So I wanted my husband to find the person who would love him and take care of him when he was sick. And it broke my heart that it wasn't me, but you know, I, I knew that it wasn't me, and I knew that they both deserved better. And I wanted to die. I was, I was too scared of him. Seeing her like that made me feel very helpless. Again, that's why I kind of started doing some research online, and that's when I came across Houston OCD program. I was like, there, there's no way in four days I'm gonna, uh, you can fix this. This is, you know, 31 years of problems right here. I went with my therapist and we went to her office. They were like, okay, what are some triggers for you? Do you is there anything in this room that's a trigger for you? They asked me to hold the trash can. So I held the trash can and that alone gave me anxiety and I was crying. Cause I'd hold the trash can in my lap like I was throwing up in it. Normally, any of the other therapists that I had been to, okay, you know, just, it's okay, take a breath. Just, you can put it down for a second and relax. But that's not what they did. So they would tell me, okay, lean into that. Feel that anxiety, feel it, let it in. After lunch, we went to the aquarium. When we were on the rides, one of my therapists, she throws up super easily and she was gagging. I was crying. There was a little girl that was probably nine years old next to me and I'm sitting there crying my eyes out and she's like having the time of her life on this ride, you know. When we were walking out of the aquarium, I was laughing and I could not believe that all of the stuff that I did today and I was laughing. After he got sick in February and then two weeks later in March, I completely avoided his bedroom and bathroom. For the program, one of, the, one of my exposures was sitting on his bed because that's where he threw up. You know, they encouraged me to not just like sit on the edge of the bed scared, to just jump into his bed. So I got into his bed and I grabbed his pillows. And whenever I started crying, I was not crying because of anxiety or OCD. I was crying because this is my baby stuff. That's him, it smells like him. And it gave me like a, a loving feeling instead of a terrified feeling. It was like the same feeling that they get when it, that a mother gets whenever you the, you know the doctor hands her baby to her for the first time. I got that feeling all over again, being able to touch his stuff and being confident and happy about it. 
That night, I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of jungle gems danced in my head. On the last day, I went home and I was exhausted and my husband immediately saw a difference and my son did too. And my son told me that he was so happy that I had surgery so that I could be nice. <laughs> The program was very hard, but on the last day, I was so happy that I didn't quit. The leaning into the fear, leaning into the anxiety, and realizing that this anxiety is not reality. You know, for all the people who don't believe that in four days your life can change, it can. Every day is hard, but every day is completely different than the way that it was before. And my son has fun with me, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> I love having fun with him. I love that he enjoys being around me now. I can be that mom. I can, I can be that person that he needs me to be. You want ice cream? Let me hug. I'm sorry, you don't feel good. Then you go to Target. You think you should get a surprise at Target just because mm -hmm. you don't feel good? Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Throwing up sucks, but it, it, that's it, it's okay. It's, you know, it's no worse than stubbing your toe or something, you know? And it took me 31 years to realize that. <laughs>